Hi, it's Joel here. Uh, welcome to the basic introduction to electronic throttle valve, or known as ETV mapping, in the Woolwich Racing software for the 2015 onwards R1. So, to access the ETV maps, you open other maps. And at the top here in the drop down menu, you see ETV. You have ETV opening limit, and a few others down here, which I will uh, talk about in the advanced video. So, we'll just focus on this ETV at the moment. Here you have ETV for power mode 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the gears. Then you can select what type of electronic throttle valve opening you would like per gear with these selections here. So let's just have a quick overview. Um, power mode 1, as we can see, if we look at just say 12% uh, TPS up the top here, and this is your RPM. So 12% at 6,000, the ETV is opening to 9.3%. I'll just go in a, in a gear here. So 9.3. And then we know that with the R1s in power mode 1, the throttle's pretty snatchy. So if we look in power mode 4, which you know the throttle's dull, see it's almost half the value. So this is a good way of when you're tuning your ETV, you can go between these other power modes and see how the bike feels. So you ride around in power mode 4, see what you like about it, power mode 3, and then and just see what's happening. So power mode 2, most people ride power mode 2 with the R1, um, it's not much a plush of the throttle, uh, so that's opening at 6.2% compared to 9.3 in power mode 1. So that's just a really good indication of uh, of what's happening with the um, with the ETVs. Now you can view these ETVs in 3D. And you can turn the, the table around, have a look. Let's have a look here. Power mode 1, you can see the sort of curve, um, quite aggressive sort of throttle. And then we go into power mode 4. And we can see in a 3D graph how dull the throttle is now. And you don't have this big hump here of, of the surge of power you get in, uh, in power mode 1. And the good thing about the 3D graph, if you're making changes and... Um, I'll just highlight a, a group of cells here and I'm just going to set these values to oh yeah in the software it's been implemented and um, you can only do a certain amount of change so even though I put in 15 it will just limit to a certain percentage so you don't really want to go over this anyway but if we go back to the 3D graph now you can see that um, there's that big ridge here now. So the 3D graph's a good overview just to make sure that what you've made is nice and smooth and there's nothing uh, sticking out that you don't want it to. Um, you've got your trim percentages, your trim value, and that's just what adjustments have been made here. So you have a couple of ways of adjusting ETV. You can either adjust them up here with the percentage adding percent or yeah, addition and subtraction. So if you look at this cell here, 10.5, we can add one, two, we'll just keep on going. Or you can do what I did before, select the whole row, set the value, and it changes the value like that. Um, you have a smoothing function. So we'll just head back to power mode one. Um, Look at the 3D graph, and you can use the smooth function, and you can see with each click it'll smooth out the ETV map. And then you can have a look on your 3D graph, and oh, sorry, on your, your standard table, and you can see what changes have been been made. Um, you've also got ETV opening limit. Now, this is um, so it's been implemented by Yamaha to stop the maximum amount of ETV opening. Um, the biggest restriction with the 2015 R1 is is here. Um, it's only allowing it to go to 92% open in the ETV. 
Um, so the 2016R1, these are around 100, hence why the 2016R1s make more power at your 100% throttle runs on the dyno. So that's a that's just something to be aware of when you're making your changes too. Um, you can also, you have your uh, copy, paste and undo function. So if we make a change here and uh, oh, change this to five, um, if I add, of course it limits that to a certain amount. Um, if I'm not happy with my change, you can just undo and it takes it back to to the standard. So that's a good feature in case you do any mistakes or if you want to put it back in, redo and it puts it back in there. So that's a really good feature. So that's just the basic introduction to ETV mapping and um, yeah, watch the advanced video. Thank you.